Tom from Professional Motorsport World Expo in Cologne and if you have been following our social media over the last couple of months, the fact that we've been developing our DRS wings, actually we had like a very early student prototype last yeah. year on the, on the Speedster, now we have unveiled our actual universal DRS system. By press of a button, you can open it and close it. So let's maybe talk through the facts first, Lapo. So everyone wants to know the downforce, downforce levels, so and the sizes. Up to 680 kilos of downforce at 250 kilometers an hour. Uh, of course, the values can change depending on the size of the overall width of the wing. And because this is 185. 185, it, go, it can go up to two meters in the universal version. We can also do custom elements. It depends on the application. The upgrades are fully built aluminum, uh, 7075 T6. We have. For now, the universal uh, actuator will come with the uh, pneumatic system. Mm -hmm. We are also working for hydraulic and or servo actuation. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's applicable to any, any vehicle. We can do mounts for any application. Exactly. So basically, like we said with every other of our wing, we can make it mounted on any particular car because at the end it's only changing the mount design on which surface or which kind of uh, form and shape you will mount it. So it's all universal. Ideally with these kind of downforce levels, it's chassis mounted. And before, some of your German audience gonna ask, does it have tooth? Uh, well, yes, of course, all the wings have been stress tested and the carbon material has been stress tested to the highest standards. So in that sense, yes. Can be street legal in Germany? Maybe after half a million euro of investment to make it street legal, it would make sense. Then we'll have to price it at about 50,000 euro per wing and then probably only one person in Germany. Exactly. To, <laughs> so to pull it straight, yeah. I'm, I'm getting very emotional with the, these kind of things. So but let yeah. Me take it on. Yes. It's, it's a motorsport wing. It's meant for track, but also if your, let's say, country allows it, it's definitely uh, doable. Yeah, you can mount street. it everywhere. We uh, will be also having like bespoke mounts like, oh, look at that, a 992 GT3. Yeah. Uh, well, that we will be unveiling soon next week basically so yeah uh, get in touch with us this is our uh, very impressive and important to us baby that we've been developing th this whole year and the next question that will be of course so you need of course to have a matching front as you know we have front splitters and we actually right now working on a front splitter DRS system yes that will be revealed on some car most likely next year. Stay tuned for that. We will also show a lot more, but for now we actually would like to take this opportunity while we're here at the expo with our friends uh, of Atomic. Let's walk around and see what else we can find. Yeah. And if you want to know more about the wings, I would say ask the questions away and we'll make a separate video once we are back in our workshop and show you more with fancy B-rolls, etc, etc. So, let's do some walking. Oh, nice. Should we, can, we, can we put it in Speedster? <laughs> oh, no, we already have something. Ah, uh, yeah, we already have something else. Oh, Manti Racing. So, I really want to race the Cup 2, the GD3 Cup. Mm. Oh, dude, this is actually cool. So, as you know, that the BMW M4 that we are racing is using this kind of flax. I would say, hey. Um, yeah, the bonnet and the doors are made of this. And because it's very sustainable, because unlike carbon fiber, it can burn. So, it can be recycled, which is uh, very... Very nice, the B-Comp. So maybe we should see if we can make wings out of that to yeah, be why not? sustainable. Why not? So, FED fire suppression. That's the system that we will be installing in the M4 that we're rebuilding right now. And maybe in some other cars also for the future. So we'll see. Ah, look, Ferrari. <laughs> Different one. Healing gearboxes, fancy. Ah! What are you doing? Oh no. No. Not, You're selling I the Glanza. I this. No. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Who are you? We are Where's still the manager? we are still exactly the same. The same. Still exactly the you're same. Not, you're not you're not captain. I'm not captain. Yeah. That is your title. So. Oh, okay. All right. Are you ca no, you're not captain. No, I'm not captain. Either. I'm like what am I? I'm, I'm CEO. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Nice. We should put this in a speedster or something. <laughs> or in somewhere else. This is stage 500 remaps. What? Oh, uh, oh, this is like we're going on the gas. Oh, look at that! Total actuation. Yes. Oh, yeah, wow. Let's tune up the RPM. I feel like a DJ here now. Wow. 
Oh no, we're the 16,000 RPM! Holy shit! That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so F1 engine V8. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So Voodoo is a really cool product. What they're doing is pretty cool. I have no idea what this is, but it looks nice. This is the ECU. Uh -huh. So this, uh, this basically controls, or it's the brain of the, of the well, system. Well, I know what the ECU is. And, uh, I you know <laughs> what you're looking at? <laughs> This is a PDM, body suit, bushel module, you put power and ground and it turns up the fans and all the auxiliaries. Only fans? Not only fans, so it's better than only fans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the screen and all the uh, throttle bodies, uh, all the Very cool. fans and lines. Oh yeah, so this is this PDM power fans. Yeah, and this is what we uh, probably would like to install is a switch. A button? Yep. This is like basically a stream deck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, awesome. Very cool. Tum, tum, tum. Oh, yes, Ultima. Oh, with the Link ECU as well. Dude, it has a 7 liter V8. I know, I drove one. But I think the one I drove had the different engine. Yeah. Nice. Huh. And a small block uh, V350 V8. And this has an S2, I think. Till it seats, the same what we have in the Speedster. Yep. Very cool. Ooh, yes. One day when I build a Civic, I will need one of those. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Big fan of Jamve. They've been I've been using their products for different builds for countless years. Why have not seen those builds? <laughs> because they always uh, in Italy we don't like to show. You know? Ah okay. <laughs> and uh, not private, but for our other customers, our yeah. other people, and uh, reliable. They work all, all the time and. Uh, very good product. Very nice. I'm excited. So when we build a K20, yeah, we might install these. Nice. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so that's a K20 piece. Yeah. Nice. So you see, this is all 3D printed. Mm -hmm. um, I already came here, had a rundown, so I can. Ah, you, you are. If you guys want. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool because you, new technology, uh, Jambi has been around for decades, and uh, it's cool years. to see. Yeah. To, to see the innovation. Very cool. And you see also how many injectors you can utilize for nice. different applications. So we can do 350 horsepower K20. I think you have enough. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be enough good. for that. Yeah, very we're cool. aiming 360 is yeah. what we're aiming. Really? 360? Wow. The key with that, there's no, uh, there's no spindle across the, yeah. the middle. Yeah. Wow. So they're solid, don't they? Yep. As you know. Yeah. Very nice. It's a really nice piece of kit, as always. With you guys. And it weighs nothing. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, take it in the hand and try to Nothing, yeah. Don't drop it, but. I won't. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll print a new piece. The, the last system that I used was the older version with uh, eight injectors. Th this was is, is new. I didn't see this. Uh... Uh, okay, so this is printed yep. for the reason that we've changed injector position several yep. times. Yep. Um, we'll probably end up going with row one for, for low speed, partial mm -hmm. throttle opening, uh, past 65, 70% throttle, these yep. ones take in for, for maximum power. Ideally, you'd mount this over here somewhere because yep. the longer you can give the fuel and the air to mix, the better, mm -hmm. the better it performs. Um, it's similar to the motorcycle system. It's getting so nerdy. Mm, cannot wait to build something to go full nerdy with the content. Is, uh, what I've been doing also have the injector directly in, uh, in ah, and yeah, perpendicular, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in line. Of course, uh, as, as he said, it's better to have it the most atomization, mm -hmm. so until you're in the intake manifold. Uh, but, I mean, there's also a minimum point that you have to take. It in the yeah, yeah. Uh, but this is you see the let's say the customization that you yes. see with the product that you guys have. Nice. Sick. And this is with e throttle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's mechanical linkage like this one. Yeah, this for sure. The Porsche traditional. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So Porsche you have race kit. This one. Uh, mechanical linkage or electronic uh, nice. situation. Nice. Very cool. Oh yeah. So let's shop for a Bugatti engine. Bugatti. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> one day maybe Cosworth will build something for us. Yeah. Big flex, power flex. Who doesn't know that? Actually, no flex at all. We need to some for, for for Gio's car. That's a start. We can have a. Uh, he, he needs the black stuff. He need this. Yeah. That's that's fancy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day when I will rebuild my Golf, I would need to replace those, or maybe actually not. Who knows? Yeah. So for the Bugatti engine, I think 
this in the Civic. <laughs> in the Civic? Yeah, the V16. V16 Civic, yeah, imagine. Are you, gonna, are you gonna drive in the boot? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a small compact engine, it's a small V16. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's small. No, a V16, trust me, it's not small. Did you say V? I point. meant V16. Uh, B <laughs> <laughs> I was Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Trend gearboxes. Let's touch some things. Ah, traditional age pattern. A dog box. Is it? Ah, yeah. It should be a six feet dog box. Nice. We need, we, we need the biggest one, right? Bigger no, is better. No, <laughs> not always, because bigger then it's difficult to tune the idle speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually. But now maybe with technology yeah, it's... Yeah, so we've got, you know, characterization, it's a great, great, great topic. So yeah. characterization data is key yeah. to making big injectors idle and tune properly. Um, and that's something that we spend a lot of time, a lot of effort on. So good characterization data is absolutely key in mm -hmm. taking any fuel injector and getting it to perform properly. Yeah. So we work but on nice. fuel pumps, that's important to have. A absolutely. Yeah. So what you're looking at, this right here is the industry's largest in-tank brushless fuel pump, 810 liters per hour. Wow. Um, so very high performance, compatible with methanol, ethanol, uh, virtually impervious to any racing fuel. So very reliable. One of the neat things that we developed in this pump is a modular outlet system. So you can have dash four, I'm sorry, dash six, uh, dash eight AN, but also you can convert it over if you want to use a uh, hose barb style. So you've got complete flexibility when you install it. Uh, 41 millimeters in, in diameter. So it fits into a lot of like um, factory modules mm -hmm. that people want to just modify and upgrade themselves. So you've got this amazing performance in such a small form factor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, competitors pumps, like let's say like the uh, Veyron pump is very popular. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's an extremely long yeah. pump. That's the beauty with brushless. You can yes. bring down the overall Com Compact footprint. it down. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for example, usually 300 liters per hour, it would be like this long. Yep. So yep. To have <laughs> this 800, it's yeah. so small, wow. Yeah. yeah, so this on gasoline's up to 400, uh, 1400 horsepower. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, on E85, 1200, so. 1400 really, horsepower Civic. Yeah, no, anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Very cool. And this is the more classic version that never Yeah, so knows. of course we have a full lineup of our brush pumps. Um, one of the neat pumps that we released last year uh, is our 420 liter per hour 39 millimeter pump. So in the 39 millimeter classification, this is the highest flowing pump out in the industry right now. So modern technology, our classic DW400 is much larger. So this has been around for a long time. Yeah. Reliable pump. Uh, this has very similar performance to this and a half the size. Exactly. So that's really what we're constantly doing is developing new technology, new pumps, mm -hmm. making them more efficient every year and find, uh, finding ways of cramming high performance into much smaller packages so it's much easier for our customers to modify and upgrade their factory modules. Mm, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Great products. Nice. Yeah, thank nice. You. Thank you. Awesome. That. Thank you. Ah, uh, look. Back from the World Time Attack. Amazing. We should put that in the speedster. Dude, no. <laughs> Too much. It's nice. four liter. Uh, yeah, that's fancy stuff. I love it. The what? It's an electric. Oh, yeah, electric yeah. whiskey. Yeah. Nice. What well, are we going to put that on? I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> a big boy. <it's> <laughs> now, one thing that we definitely need in many of our builds, starting with the Speedster, yeah. the reason why I hate to drive that car I'm very scared of is it has no ABS. And on Bumpy Norch Life, you need ABS. But luckily, there is Bosch that provides yeah. motorsport ABS solutions. So let's see what we can do. Oh, I see a familiar Australian face. So let's talk to him. Need some ABS, please. Hey. Yeah. Please, some ABS. It's time. It's time. It's time. Definitely. We don't actually have uh, ABS on display here. So. G'day. How's no. Going? Pleasure. Like. Ah, oh, but we have, we have buttons. Oh, we have buttons. Ooh, cycling. Very cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So rather than having bolts or bobbins, yeah, yeah. And it's fully floating. And then for the road, we change the thickness of the snap ring yeah. to, to make it not float. Yep. Nice. Big endurance pad. Yeah. <laughs> Love those. Well, we've had some uh, great championships with, uh, with these pads. Yeah. Familiar cars. Obviously. David Pittard on Ascent. Very good. Hmm. 
Monoblock. Pretty. Very pretty. We got so many parts for E36. <laughs> the main one. Ah. Oh, talk to this guy. Yeah. Anyway, on a serious note, I think, first of all, it's been a fantastic expo. Everyone, thank you so much for stopping by, pressing the red big button for the DRS wing to talk about the DRS, the system, the aero in general, the design and engineering with us, with Lapo, Diana, me, and everyone else, the rest of the team. A massive thank you to the rest of the team for a fantastic job for making this possible throughout the year. We have a lot more, many cool things that we will be showing you in the coming days and weeks and definitely in the coming year. We have some plans to build some cars, but for that, stay tuned, subscribe, like and share. And yeah, this, this really pleases me, seeing this finally in person and very much looking forward to showing it to you on a car and what it can do. Combined, of course, with all the other supportive aero mods.